All right, so it's only been about, it's been less than 12 hours actually since the last Elden Ring stream, but um, I don't know, man, I just can't stay away. I can't stay away. Like this is the only game like the stream title says, man, it's the only game I can think about these days. It's the only game I wanna play these days. So we're back. I know it's a weird time for you guys because it's like super early. It's not even noon yet. But uh, I just got to play and I was like, yo, might as well stream it if I'm going to play anyways, right? So, um, believe it or not, last time, if you guys missed the last stream, we only died nine times. Which is pretty crazy considering the stream before we died 63 times. So it's a combination of me getting maybe a little bit better at the game. But also just farming the crap out of my character's level to, you know, make myself... A lot more powerful. Now I did make a change since the last stream, since we ended the last stream. Uh, I went back to full samurai armor, even though it's a lot weaker than what I was using in the last stream. Uh, it just looks too dope, man. So I'm gonna go full samurai, and uh, we're probably gonna go for one of the main bosses today as well. So I imagine that death count is gonna be a lot higher. But let me just reset it real quick. Two zero. There we go. And yeah, so right now the area we're in is just slightly south of where we left off. Um, it's called Roads and Catacombs. So uh, let's check it out. Oh, also we got $2 from Wesley. Uh, oh damn, we can still catch a stream. Wesley, you didn't leave yet? So what's your flight, man? Uh, Coden, what's up? Bad Gamer sucks. Karisu. Uh, Yoshi, Light Shadow, Chris Peters, Daniel Hood, Mank, Mank Mo, wait, 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 hold on, Mank Hobley, I swear your name was Hank, <laughs> did he change the first letters of your first and last name, wasn't your name Hank Mobley, now it says Mank Hobley, uh, Dead Man Vince, what's up, Cosmic World, and uh, Sipsco as well, thank you guys for being here, okay, um, let's do this, let's do this, Worlds and Catacomb is the place. Uh, what, Mr. D, what's up? You have a layover in New York? Oh, oh crap, okay. Gotta pay attention. Is that a rat? It's a rat with a sword? It's a rat with a scythe? What is this? Oh my god. Okay, we're good, we're good. Man, I hate rats. I really hate rats. Got a new sword, that's cool. Okay, let's heal up here. Uh, hey, what's up, AC? Well, I mean, it's not like I, you know, didn't stop streaming since last night. I did take a break, but I'm telling you, man, like, I'm just really into this game right now. It's really into it. I can't really stop playing it. And there's not much going on in Dokkan at the moment, at least global, right? So I kind of have an excuse to just go in on this game. Uh, I'm not sure what that live that that lever did actually. There was some text at the bottom. I missed it. This game looks so extremely frustrating. It's not if you put in the time to grind. Um, I grinded a lot of levels off camera, and now it's not as bad as uh as it was before, at least. Wait, are those, are, those, are those fish? Oh, they're gargoyles. What are these things? I don't know. Doesn't matter, I guess. <laughs> <coughs> those rats are one of the most annoying enemies I've ever seen, and the ugliest. There's a lot of ugly enemies, man. It's not. It, it, it's definitely not the ugliest. There are by far much uglier enemies in this game. Um, I I went for at least currently a Dex slash into build because I wanted to get the most out of the Moonbill Katana, which is my main weapon. Um, but I might respec and actually go for Faith because I want to do a build around the Sword of Flame and Night because it's freaking dope. Like, if people were telling me you can shoot Kamehameha Haas and stuff. I was like, yo, why would I not go for that? Why is your mind so low? Um, because I just never added it, man. I never really thought it needed much FP, but I, I guess now if I want to go for the sort of uh, Flame at Night with like the 
magical attacks, then I have to go for more FP, right? So I'll probably add more mind when I respec. But yeah, right now I have like no, no FP at all, man. It's literally like the base FP that I had, which is like a, uh, 11 mind or something like that. It's very low for sure. Um, hold on. Are we stuck? What does this message say? Try attacking. Didn't expect nest. Can I break the wall? Oh! Whoa. That's that's a new one. That's a new one. Um, have you stopped with Dokkan? Not much has happened in the last three weeks. Uh, Martin, I've been putting out Dokkan content still, like, almost daily. Um, maybe, you know, YouTube hasn't let you know. <laughs> about the new videos and stuff, but no, I'm still doing Dogon, man. It's just, uh, you know, I've been spending a lot of time with this game as well. But, I mean, Global hasn't really been too exciting recently either. The JP side has been pretty good, but yeah, Global's been kind of kind of dry recently. Okay, what is this? Raya Lucaria Soldier Ashes. That's pretty cool. Um. Oh, apparently people are saying there's another hidden entrance. Okay. I'll look for it. Don't tell me where. Don't tell me where. But I'm a. I'm a run around and just like, you know, just attack walls, I guess. And try to find another. Man, now that I know that there are these like, hidden like fake walls and stuff, I'm gonna be hitting every wall like in every dungeon I go into. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time okay let's see maybe here nope um oh maybe here oh yeah there we go there it is that's cool I like that Human bone shard. Watchdog staff. Interesting. Fortunately, I haven't really been using staffs, but I guess I, in theory, could. I got the meteorite staff. What's this one? Watchdog staff. Uh, here we go. Okay. Watchdog staff. Colossal weapon. Oh, wow. You need a lot of strength for this one. Holy crap. So it's not quite, it's, it's not, it's not like a staff for casting magic. It's more like a, or maybe it is, I don't know. It's a colossal weapon, let me see. Holy crap, that's huge. That is a massive staff, guys. Okay. Yeah, we do not have nearly enough strength to uh, run this properly, but... That's cool. Maybe at some point I'll respec into a strength build. But right now, yeah, it's just not gonna work. It's not gonna work for us. Okay, let me put the staff back on. Um, wait, you're telling me there's still one more? So there's three in total. All right. Okay, I'm gonna hit some more walls then. <laughs> I'm gonna keep smacking walls until we find it. Hmm. Oh, probably one of these. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, he's still alive, huh? Make sure that these are not fake walls either. Oh, oh wait, hold on. It's just the same area. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's this? Oh, Rune arc. All right. Still haven't used any of them, but I've been told they're very useful, so uh, that's good, I suppose. And there's also something here. Root resin. Oh, and more. It keeps going. <laughs> it keeps going. 
<laughs> yeah, there we go. Um, have I been here before? I don't think so. I think this is a new new spot. Yeah, see, if I had just left, oh, there's a boss here. If I had just left as soon as um I found that first hidden entrance, then I would have missed so much. So so shout out to you guys, man, for for letting me know there's more than one hidden hidden room. All right, boss time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. It's a snail. We're fighting a snail. It does not look like a snail. But it's called a spirit caller snail for some reason. All right, here we go. Oh wait. Oh, I thought he was the boss. He's not the boss. I just realized. So the boss is somewhere else. Oh. <laughs> Shake off the rust. I'm a little rusty right now, clearly. Yikes. This is bad, guys. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> okay. Where is the snail, though? Where's the. A oh, here it is! Stone sorcerer ashes. So I guess technically he will like the guy we we're fighting was kind of like the main boss because the snail is just like There to be killed like once you kill the guy Then you just kill the snail like instantly So the enemy we were fighting actually technically is kind of like the main boss fight Uh, Yeah, we got the Getsuka Tencho Katana. We did we did it's pretty dope. Okay, uh, let me just make sure there's no more hidden areas because uh, that's been kind of a thing. Oh, that's kind of messed up. That's that's a little gruesome. Okay, yeah, let me just smack a few things. Make sure there's no hidden areas that we haven't uh, been to. Uh, Smoggy Zero, what's up? Yeah, that was that was a that was a very easy boss. Very easy boss. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a cuckoo. <laughs> but whatever you say, man. Um, yo, Mexican God Gamer, what's up, dude? Yeah, early stream, early stream, because I just really wanted to play um, Elden Ring, and I was like, I could play off camera, I could play like off stream, but I mean, even if not a lot of people are gonna be here, like the ones that are available, like might as well just, you know, do it for them, right? So, yeah, we're here. We out here. Oh, can I break this? I feel like you could like set this on fire or something. Let me see if I have anything in my... Maybe I can like make a fire pot or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna make a fire pot. I'm gonna equip it. I'm gonna throw a fire pot at this area. Probably will do nothing, but just in case. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I thought maybe, <laughs> maybe it would be something. I was wrong, but we tried. We tried. Okay, um, let's get out of here. Will you stream the EZA All Star Tiger? Are you talking about the um? Are you talking about the nine 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 level thing on JP? Probably not, just because my JP account is pretty not good. Um, but I'll definitely stream when it comes to global for sure. So, you know, in like September or at least August or something like that. Uh, that boy Lasko, you, you just, <laughs> you missed me killing a troll boss. It was like this random spirit snail guy. Um, but yeah, otherwise you didn't miss much. Uh, Amner says, can I join you? Yo, what's up, Amner? So, like I said, I wanna actually go through everything first by myself, just like solo everything, and then once uh, I'm done my first playthrough, if I do like a new game plus or like a different character, then I'm totally down to have 
uh, people join me. So like we can definitely do that later once I finish my first playthrough. Okay, uh, let me see. We haven't visited this bottom part yet, this uh, south part. So we can go there potentially. I also kind of want to know where the next main boss, like demigod, is. Um, Aider, I'm good, man. How are you? Does playing this incline you to play the other Souls games? Absolutely. I said that like first stream. I was like, now I kind of want to play Demon Souls, uh, Dark Souls, uh, Bloodborne even. But the one that actually intrigues me the most is probably Sekiro because of the samurai theme. Because I just love to, uh, I, I just love samurai games, man. So. I might go for Sekiro, even though people have told me it's probably like the hardest. It's, it's between that one and Bloodborne, apparently, being the hardest in the series, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, um... Let me see, actually. How do we get there? How do we get there? Hmm... Okay, I'm gonna get on my horse. Sekiro plays completely different from any Souls game. Okay, but it's still a very good game, right? So, like, as long as it's a good game, that's all that really matters to me. I don't really care too much about uh, if it's not, like, exactly the same in terms of gameplay. Hmm. Have I been down there before? Maybe not. Let's, let's go down here. This is what I love about this game and, like, other games like this, right? Like, uh, open-world games like this, because... Um, it's just like like sense of wonder, man. You're just like, look in the distance and you see something. You're like, oh, that's that looks cool. Maybe I can go there. Oh, that, that looks dope. Maybe uh, we'll find something cool there. It's just like something about it. That sense of like wonder you get from exploring the world is just so great. Still feeling like your character's OP. Uh, a little bit, a little bit, but um, hopefully, you know, one of the bosses will will humble me. You know, <laughs> it will make me die a couple more times so I don't feel like I'm too overpowered. Because I did feel like I overleveled a bit when I um, went on that big grind to make my character more powerful. I just think uh, I went a little bit overboard. I mean, I went from like level 35 to 90, so yeah, it's kind of my fault. Play Minecraft. I mean, I tried. I wasn't really into it. I couldn't really get into it. Um... I don't know, man. Like, I know it's a great game and everything, but it's just not really for me, I guess. It's not really... Yeah, I feel like I don't want to be in this area. Oh, no, our horse is fine. As long as you're on your horse... Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's definitely a status effect here, but if you're on your horse, you're fine. So we're going to stay on our horse. I'm level 100. I'm still not overleveled in the first two areas. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I mean, it's not like every level really gives you a massive boost. It's really like one stat per level, right? So it's not like there's a huge, huge difference. But there's definitely a difference, nonetheless. <laughs> there's definitely a pretty noticeable difference between like when I was level 35 and when I was level 90. <laughs> yeah, that, that snail was just weak. You're right. That snail was a weak uh, troll boss, like you said. Uh, what is? Oh, what are these guys? Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh, okay. Yo, I did like no damage to them. Holy crap! Okay, let's try. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> We're not overpowered. We're definitely not overpowered. <laughs> we just did six damage. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know how to kill those guys. They're probably like weak to something, I'm guessing. But um, not to my swords, clearly. Like how 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 do I kill those guys? I literally can't. I I, I did six damage. Even with my special, it did like 20 or something like that. Like, that was just sad. Oh, blunt weapons. 
This game should be easy for me. You are Asian after all. Believe it or not, not all, not all Asians are good at video games. <laughs> I know it's a popular myth that if you're Asian, you're going to automatically be great at video games. And it might be true for some games. But, uh... Yeah. Not, not for me, man. Not for me. Also, like, isn't that mostly for, like, you know, StarCraft and... I don't know, just, like... Uh, the strategy games <laughs> isn't that the the um, how do you call it stereotype blunt weapons or jump attacks is effective even with a sword oh okay okay so they have a shield after break well you know what it's not really uh, it's not really worth my time right now so I'm not gonna worry about it not gonna worry about it I do need to find a save point soon because I'm completely out of potions or flasks. Like, I literally have no flasks left, so I need to find a save point quick. That would be really great. You're great at Street Fighter. Yo, um, I know, like, the at least the former Street Fighter champ uh, was, like, Justin Lin or something like that. And he was, like, apparently the GOAT of uh, Street Fighter. I do know of, of that guy. Like, I do know, like, in general, you know, like, Asians are good at, like, competitive games. But just because you're Asian doesn't mean you're good at, uh, video games. It's just like when it comes to math, you know? Like, I'm not really that good at math. <laughs> Even though, based on stereotypes, I should be really good. Unfortunately, I'm not. Sorry to disappoint you guys. I'll get over here. Ash of War, Vow of the Indomitable. Cool. Asians are also humble. See? Once again, it's a stereotype. Maybe most of us are. But not all, you know. There are definitely some some cocky Asians out there. I'm sure. Um head towards the tree, you say. Tree. This big tree over here? I was literally at the big tree. Or like I was around it. Maybe I missed whatever was supposed to be there. But uh, I'm going to explore this area a little bit. See what's going on here. I do want to find a grace point in this area. Just so I can get my potions back. Because uh, your boy's about to die. Like I'm not going to fight anybody until I, I find another save point. Um... This 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 little circle thing looks interesting. Let's let's go here. I heard tigers are beautiful. <laughs> the animal? Yeah, man, tigers are beautiful. They're uh I would argue. I mean, they they're definitely my favorite animal. They're definitely my favorite animal. Which is why it's so sad. There are so many of them in captivity, you know. <laughs> they should be in the in the wild. They should be free. Oh, what is this? Village of Albinorix. Oh, we found the save point. Here we go. Wait a second. Oh, that's just a, that's just a lantern. I thought I found a point of grace. Um. Okay. Well, let's grab this first. Oh, larval tier. Isn't that for respecting or resetting your stats? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure it is. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I think larval tiers are for resetting your stats, which is what I want. But I'm also pretty sure I have to kill somebody first. Like, I have to kill a boss first before I can use it. Alright, so let's talk to this guy. What's up, man? Village is done for. Please, even if it's just you, old Albus, hide well and still steal your breath. Oh. Alright. So everyone got turned into zombies. That would happen.
I haven't beat baby girl Ranella. No, I haven't met Ranella yet. I have no idea what she does. Or what she looks like even. But someone told me, um, I think, uh, yeah, I think someone told me she was pretty easy. Compared to some of the other bosses at least. Wait, is she the one in, uh, the Urna? Like the Academy or something like that? Hey, God Zeus, what's up, man? so dark here, man. I can barely see what's going on. Or maybe it's like the mist. Uh, hey, con her. Yeah, that's cool. I'm sure uh, most people that watch these streams, I mean, they're still bigger Dokkan fans, but you know, I enjoy a bunch of different games, so that's why I'm starting to stream like more variety of games. But the Dokkan will always be there, right? Like, I always be, I'll always, always do, like, Dokkan streams and Dokkan videos on a regular basis. Just expect to see, you know, more non-Dokkan stuff on the channel from now on as well. I can hear a guy. I can, I can hear someone, at least. Like, there's, like, some kind of moaning or something like that, so... a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait then, you're not one of them? Well, what a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I am Albus and Albinoric, as you can see. Albinoric. We're finished. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the curse mongers' hands. Haglid tree secret medallion rights. And if you should meet the young Albinoric Latena, then please give it to her. Latena. Hold on, I think I have both sides of this uh, medallion now. Oh no, never mind. Yeah, never mind, they're different. I got one is Dectus left, and then the other one is Halig Tree right. Um, just got Elden Ring too, but I find it really hard to beat bosses and I die a crap ton of times. That's uh, just how the game's supposed to be, man. Just enjoy the deaths, learn from them, and over time you'll get better. And also, as you power up your character, it'll get easier too. Oh, hello. So these guys are not zombies, it just seems like they got corrupted or something like that. Which I guess is kind of the same thing. Yeah, Sergio, I have not killed Rinelli yet. I don't even know where she is to be honest. not purchase a lantern but I do have a torch which I guess saves serves the same purpose right pretty much 
You're killing innocent villagers. I might be, man. <laughs> I might be. Uh, there's a big fire here. Oh, there's a boss. Omen killer. Aha. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Oh, there's dogs too. Oh no, not the not dogs, not dogs. I hate these dogs. Ah! Well, there you go. Our first death. Um, the lantern doesn't need to be held in your hands. Oh, so you can just strap it onto you. You know what? That does sound really useful. That sounds very, very useful. Yeah, I'll, I gotta pick up a lantern then. Um, James, I think I'm gonna try to build around the Sword of Night and Flame. Because people told me it's very powerful and also the attacks are really cool, so why not? The main thing that got me was when they told me it's basically like a Kamehameha attack. I was like, okay, I'm sold. Let's go, man. the dog's fault oh you know what i yo i completely missed mixture d's dono from like 20 minutes ago mixture d thank you so much for the five dollar dono man i'm sorry i missed it i think i was like in the middle of something i just uh i don't know didn't see it uh i'm putting dokkan uh on the back burner for now for this game i don't blame you man i don't blame you i mean at least until like saiyan day starts right at least until something exciting happens. Oh! This boss is not hard, I just keep messing up. And part of it is like, because I decided to go back to my samurai armor, which is like has a lot less defense, but just looks so much better, so I was like, screw it. I'd rather look like samurai than have more defense. Which is really kind of dumb, but it is what it is. makes the game more enjoyable for me, right? So, I guess in that sense it's worth it. Um, roll on the big pot. I'm pretty sure I already got the pot guy. He's the one that gives you the medallion, right? I already got him. Mm, okay, here we go.
not too bad. Crucible, not talisman. Let's see what that is. Reduces damage and impact of headshots. Okay, I didn't even know there were <laughs> there were headshots in this game. <laughs> so I guess if you get hit in the head, then it's a critical it's a critical hit. I didn't know that. I got Elden Ring. I'm going for an Inescape Inescape build. Sweet. That sounds awesome, man. You heard about the merchant trick? If you kill all the merchants, they give you ball bearings to sell at the round table place. The two-headed guy, and you can purchase every vendor item from one. Oh, that is a good point. I did not know that. So instead of having to go around, you can just kill all of them? <clears throat> yeah, I kill all of them, and then... <coughs> um, just make, like, the, the two-headed... Um, Husk ladies, your main vendor. Why, why would I not do that then? Why would I not do that? That sounds like a great way to save time. Uh, what level is your moon bale? My moon bale is currently level five, it's plus five. I wanted to make it plus six, but I can't find a somber smithing stone six. And I don't really want to like look for a guide, I just want to kind of you know run into one naturally because that's going to be more fun and more exciting when it happens so yeah we'll get we'll get one eventually both of my swords are plus five right now actually I don't know if I recommend that strat though what the killing vendors thing I mean is there any drawback to killing the vendors aside from feeling bad about it <laughs> because they seem to be nice guys <laughs> just trying to make a living you know like, that would be the only drawback in my mind. Feeling bad about killing vendors. Otherwise, it seems really useful. Um, yeah, I guess we actually cleaned out this area. I could go this way, maybe. It was uh, going on over here. Oh, you might miss out on quest lines. Yeah, that wouldn't be good. That would not be good. The quests in this game are interesting though. Like, it's not like a traditional style of RPG where like, you know, you can follow your quests and stuff like that. Right? Like, you, it literally is like, you know, you have to like remember stuff and you have to just like randomly run into people that are part of the quest. Because otherwise, um, a lot of times, like, yeah, like, like, you know, for like most games, it like just tells you where to go, right? But it's not like that in this game, which is like good and bad, I guess. It kind of enhances the exploration aspect. But on the other hand, I think it's hard to. I feel like it's hard to like complete all the quests sometimes. To the city. It's only a quaint treasure for we who cannot make the journey. But for dear Latena. Yeah, like who is Latena? Where do I find Latena? I don't know. I have I have no idea where Latena is. You should buy the lantern. It's in a great south of where you are. South of where I am. So like in somewhere in this area yeah either way you guys know what I mean right it's like not exactly ideal if you want to complete everything not to not have some kind of guidance for like where the next point of the quest is Hey, Papa Po. My legs will soon fade, and will alas, 
This is the... Uh, uh. You just die. Oh. I thought it was going to give me more hints about where this girl was. He just decided to go and die. Hey, what's up, Shadow? Um, are you still playing? Wait, is that him? Oh no, it's not. <laughs> just a random villager. Yeah, are you still playing Elden Ring? Um, I'm not sure how we can actually get to this area. Maybe we'll come back to it. Maybe we should go for Radon. Maybe we should go for Radon. I don't even know if that's how you say his name, to be honest. It looks like that's how you say it. <clears throat> uh, I'm at like 30-ish hours. Okay. Uh, southeast, you say. So, is it like here? Lake facing cliffs? Or is it where Godric was? Let me see. Um, it looks like they want us to go this way. Oh, I can't use the Grand Lift of Dectus yet. I have to get the other piece, don't I? What is this thing, though? I've always wondered what this, like, red circle is, so maybe we'll go there. Hey, Blazing Battlefront, thank you so much for the follow, man. Uh, the cliffs. What happened to Android 18? She's still around. She's still doing her thing. Um, she just hasn't been on the channel recently. <coughs> but yeah, we're still, uh... We're, we're still together, you know? We're still, we're still good. <laughs> Yo, Lil Conan! Eleven dollar dono, thank you so much. He says, uh, "Man, I love your streams because of you. I buy Elden Ring, and I'm having an unholy amount of fun. Although I am maidenless, <laughs> that's okay, man. That's okay. We all are. Um, yeah, dude. It's a great choice to pick up this game. That was a great call. This, this guy's not a vendor, is he? Back to learn another. Wonderful. Oh yeah, he does." spells um i think i have a bunch of spells actually let me see wait okay we gotta go find a grace point to uh change our spells right i think i have some i just never used them i literally have not used a single spell in my, in my playthrough so far but speaking of the vendor where is this vendor you want to go further north following the path. Like, towards Lyrna? I still haven't beat Godric. His uh, second phase is too hard. Yeah, no, his second phase is tough, man. It took me a lot of tries. It took me many, many attempts. To... To beat that guy. But you'll get him eventually. Once you figure out like his attack pattern and stuff like that. It's not, like, too bad, in my opinion. I thought it was easier than Margit, but it might also be because, like, I was super low level at the time when I fought Margit. Uh, memorize spell. Let's see. Yeah, see. Here's the problem. I can literally only use it twice. I can use each of these, like, once, and then I'll be out of FP because I have no mind. I didn't put any, any points into mind. That's uh, my fault, of course, but yeah, right now, I just can't really do spellcasting. So once I respec, I'm probably going to put some more points into mind, just so I can actually cast a few more spells. Um, northwest. I think this is northwest, so... Hopefully I'm going the right way, man. 
hopefully I'm going the right way. Hey, Blackie Chan plays. <laughs> Great name, by the way. Um, I'm going good. I'm going. I'm. I'm. How? I'm going good. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I think we're gonna go try to find a boss soon. Uh, we did kill a few mini bosses, but they were pretty chill. Um, at this point, like the game has become much more manageable because I'm, you know, level 90 now. But it's still, you know, we're still dying, as you can see. Still, still deaths here and there. It's not nearly as much as when I first started. The path on the left. I'm actually like pretty confused. Okay, is is he is he very close to this to this grace point? Is it like very nearby or do I have to actually go like find him? Or did oh is it this person? Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata. And I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shibiri grapes in your possession to me? My I think I have some grapes. Breath, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. Do we give her grapes, guys? Do we give her a grape? Okay, I'll give her some grapes. Thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the fingers. <laughs> she gave us an emote. Okay, cool. You are most kind. May the blessing. Well, I'm guessing it's 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 for something. I'm guessing it's for something. Um, go on horseback through the path on the left, heading north, and you'll discover another grace point near the waters. Oh. So you're not talking about Lyurna Highway South? I think the first person you were buying arrows from had the lantern when you were fighting that lizard. Oh! Maybe. Maybe. Hold on, let me check, let me check. If he actually sells a lantern, then it might save us a lot of time to just buy it from this guy instead of uh, trying to find the other vendor. Ah, always a no, he has a torch. It's not a lantern, unfortunately. Goodbye for now. You for real doing Radon today? Uh, no, not. I don't know. I'm not really committed to that yet. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not super committed to that yet. Maybe Renella instead. Where is Renella, guys? Someone uh, point me in that direction. Okay, so towards the water, you're saying, right? Towards the water. Okay. Towards the water. Um. Let's see. Yeah, Blackie Chan, it's going to take you some time to adjust to it, but I think once you actually like get into it, then it won't be that that hard. Um At least that was my experience, you know, like it it's it was like tough in the beginning, but uh over time like uh, you you just get used to it. And you you even you even get used to the dying. Like the dying's not that bad. Because it's pretty easy just to just get back to like where you were before. It does get frustrating sometimes though. Don't get me wrong. It's not like uh, I haven't raged a couple times. Uh, you know what? <laughs> oh, like towards this direction. Okay, okay. I got you. I got you. 
I think I can finally, I think I finally understand exactly <laughs> what you're talking about now. So you go this away, this away, okay. I don't think I've actually been in this area before. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe I have. Definitely never been here before, because I would have picked that up if I was here before. Smoldering butterfly, but no vendor. So clearly I'm not in the right spot still. All right, Maguku, am I going in the right direction? Oh, is that the vendor? Is it the, the, the fireplace? Ah, okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. <laughs> Grass. <coughs> Yo, it took a minute, but we, we, we finally figured it out. We finally figured it out. Is dual wielding better than double handing? Um, I'm not sure. It seems to be faster in terms of de dealing damage. That's the main thing I've noticed. Surprised you found me in my little nook. No matter, no matter. Your money's as good as anyone else's. Why don't you take a look at my wares? Oh, but don't ask me how I got my hands on them. No. Okay, sweet. Lantern. Uh, kite shield, sure. Astrologer hood. This outfit's actually kind of cool. I uh, don't know, I'm probably not gonna run it, but I'll just buy it. Just cuz. Why not? <clears throat> Cookbook. Uh. <clears throat> Otherwise, I think I'm good. <laughs> the downside to the lantern is you gotta equip it every time you die. Luckily for you, you rarely die. Um, yeah, no, the good thing is we don't die much anymore. These days, we don't die much anymore. Alright. Oh, okay, so it's just a tiny lantern. I thought it was like a, gonna be like a much bigger one, but it's just like a tiny, tiny lantern. Up for 55 minutes and two deaths, progress. Yeah, Proton, progress. But I was telling you, right? I over leveled, I, I feel like. So now, you know, I'm barely dying because I think I'm just a little bit too powerful for the areas that I'm going into. But with that said, there are still a lot of areas that uh, I would get destroyed in. Like Kaled, I think it's still gonna be pretty tough. The area to the south, or to, to the west rather. Um, and I think this is where Radon is, isn't is it? You know what? There's a dragon around here that I, I remember destroyed me. So I'm going to go for this dragon, man. Let's kill this dragon. Let's kill this dragon. <sighs> I don't remember exactly where the dragon was, but this area is called... Dragon Barrow, so I think it's like a safe place. To st oh, wait, no, that's not the dragon. That's a tree. Where was this dragon? Hey, Simpy, it's okay, man. Go, go, go sleep if you have to. 
the stream will be here when you uh when you wake up i mean i'm not gonna be live hopefully but um it will be on the channel so you can feel free to watch it back later uh what katanas am i using i'm using moonvale and moonvale and meteoric katana at the moment Okay, yeah, I don't remember where the dragon is. I guess we gotta go find it again. <laughs> Let me see if I can kill these guys now. <laughs> I thought they were attacking each other. <laughs> Okay, so we can kill these guys, but it's not easy. It's definitely not easy. Let me try some magic. Yeah, they're like T-Rex wolves, basically. They're T-Wolves. That's pretty cool. It takes forever though. <laughs> Let me try this. Ah, uh, it takes so long to charge. Oh my god. Okay, never mind, never mind. Swords it is. I feel like s double handing, like 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 using two hands on one sword, might actually do more damage than dual wielding. So would only the would the only benefit of dual wielding be to get more blood loss procs? Because right now it seems like using one sword with two hands actually does more damage. You guys know what the calculation for that would be? Because I haven't really looked into it. I just thought, like, holding two katanas is dope. But if I do more damage with one sword, then it might be the move to just use one sword instead. I haven't tried colossal weapons. I've, I've used some of them, but, like, my attack is very low. Um, I'm sorry, my, my strength is very low, so colossal weapons aren't great for me. It does more damage, right? So holding one sword with two hands does more damage. What is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is so weird. Oh my god! came out of nowhere certain weapons benefit better dual wielding others are the opposite when you dual wield i believe it'll help your strength as well so you don't have enough strength it'll help you use that weapon if that makes more sense it does it does yeah three deaths though three deaths though not not bad for over an hour of streaming right or close to an hour wait how long has it been like an hour yeah not bad for uh how long we've been here for. At least compared to before. We're doing a lot better. You don't have to charge spells. 
So they're more, are they more, they're, I'm guessing they're more powerful if you charge them, but you don't have to charge them, right? Okay, I got you. But let's test this, let's test this. I want to see how much uh, my Moonbill does with two-handing. Yeah, 500, 500. Whoa. This guy seems like extra powerful compared to other guys. It's because he has red eyes. Is it the red eyes? Oh my god, he hit so hard. Skills, what's up, man? Are you talking about the uh, what you call it? Are, are you are you talking about the Sword of Night and Flame? Because I did get that one already. Yeah, I did get that one already. Hold up, let me let me get the map for this area first. Jim the Saiyan, yo, thank you so much for the sub, man. Yeah, we just lost a lot of runes. That that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. That's how that's how it goes. That's how it goes. Okay. Um. Where were, oh, we were at Callum Ruins, right? That's where we went before. That's where I died before, I believe. Oh, dragon. Okay, let's fight the dragon. Let's fight the dragon. More than one dragon. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, are dragons just like regular enemies now? Skyrim vibes for sure. Skyrim vibes. Okay, yeah, so I'm not over level for this area, that's for sure. Um, I'm definitely not too powerful <laughs> for this area. Kaelid is still a pain in the butt, man. Kaelid is definitely... You know what? I don't want to do this, but I think I have to. I'm going to go back to the armor I was using before because it was just a lot better for defense um, exile gauntlets and Godric Greaves yeah I think that's what I was using before even though it's not really like you know samurai like uh, it helps with staying alive a lot more so I'm gonna have to do it Okay, do we go for the dragons again, or do we... I don't want to fight two dragons at once, though, that's the thing. 
Can you pull up the map where you are? Uh, yeah, Battle Snipe. We are around this area. We're in Dragon Barrow, basically. Okay, let's fight the dragons again. Screw it. Why not? It does feel like I'm playing Skyrim. Just randomly, random dragons appearing out of nowhere. Oh, let's go. Don't get up, don't get up, don't get up. We got one. We got one. Should I try to kill the other one too? Might as well. <sighs> Might as well. There's a stronger samurai gear they can get. Oh, really? So it's still samurai armor, just stronger. Yeah, I, I would be down for that. That's good to know. Because I still want to look like a samurai. I definitely want to look like a samurai. Yeah, you know what? There's no point in finding these dragons, you know? Like, these baby dragons, they don't even give me much. They give, like, a few runes, but otherwise... Well, they give a lot of runes, actually. They give 3,000 <laughs> runes, but... You know, they're not really worth the trouble, I feel like. Considering, like, how long it takes to kill them. I don't know, man. I'm gonna pick up my ruins and just dip. There are dragons everywhere. I guess it makes sense because it's called Dragon Barrow, but still. If I can die less than 12 times before the end of the stream, I'm a legend. If I actually fight Radon, I'm probably going to die like a million times, so I doubt it's going to be 12. It's probably going to be more like 30 if I actually run into that guy. Uh oh. Oh, we're good, okay. Okay. So we're out of the scary dragon area. But there are a bunch of scary things in this area too, so... This is just like a bad place, man. It's just, you just, you just don't want to be... in this place. Uh, oh, is that a grace point? I think it's a, that's a grace. Oh no, it's not. Okay, screw this big fire guy with the fire breathing. I'm gonna just go into the ruins. Oh, it's a boss. All right, here we go. Oh, there's two of them, damn it.
Oh, I wasn't dead. Yo, I thought I died in the last hit, so I just stopped playing. Um, you said it was too easy earlier. Well, you know what? Kaylid is different. Kaylid is different. I'm gonna go back there because I want to kill that boss. Um, hold on. Oh yeah, why don't we just teleport here? What am I doing? <laughs> Yo, have you killed the huge white dragon near Fort Ferreth? Is it the 100k ruins? If you hit him just over over with hook claws, he doesn't fight back. Yeah, people have told me about him. I haven't found him yet, though. I haven't found that, that big dragon yet. Dragon packed. What's up, man? Okay. Uh, we gotta find the big... Fire head guy. Stop chasing me, please. Oh, here we go. Yep. Yeah, no, this boss is not too bad. I feel like I just gotta not get hit as much. <laughs> Easier said than done, I know. two potions by accident. That was not ideal. That was not the plan. Wait, we don't get anything for that fight? <laughs> we <coughs> legit got nothing for that fight. Um, hey, Mike Wheeler, I haven't. Uh, oh, oh, we got a chest. I uh, haven't played Legends in a long time, to be honest. It's been at least a good. That's a weird ass shield. <laughs> it's been a good like a year, I think. This is that open legends. So yeah. Um I haven't played Legends in forever, man. Let me see. Visage Shield. Visage. That's a lot of attack power for a shield. What? I guess you can shoot fire with it, probably. Tons of fire. Tongues of fire. 44 strength. Yeah, it's it's part it's part of uh, uh flamethrower, right? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Man, maybe a strength build is the way to go. There's so many cool just things. There's so many cool like weapons and shields and stuff that require a lot of strength. Um yeah, okay, I kinda wanna kill I kinda wanna kill this guy now. Sumi Sumi Yo, thank you so much for the sponsorship on YouTube. I really appreciate that. Alright, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, never mind. 
Never mind. We're good. We good. That's gonna take forever. <laughs> I see you're enjoying your tiger emotes. Uh oh, you gotta hit that guy from the back. Okay. Fine, I'll try it. I will try it. Oh, it's a person in there. It's a person operating it. Okay, I didn't know that. I didn't, I didn't notice that. I didn't notice that. Oh. Yeah, I had no idea. I had no idea there was actually a little person in the back operating the thing. Um, that's what she said. <laughs> True. Uh, is this game worth it, Tiger? I think so. I think so. In my opinion, it's very much worth it. Because just look at how much I've been playing this game. Like that—that that should tell you everything you need to know. I've been playing this game pretty much more than any other game. Uh, recently. There you go. There you go. This should be another one of those guys here. guys are not worth it. Oh, there's one more guy. Yeah, let's get this guy too. This for my revenge. Because he killed me so many times. We got it. We got it. These little flame zombie guys are annoying because they just rush at you and explode. And, uh. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Get away. It should be a vehicle, right? It should be a vehicle we can take over. I'd be dope to drive that thing around. They should have that in the game. That should be like an actual mechanic. Just being able to drive vehicles or like take over enemy vehicles. If you, if I, if like if you kill the guy, you should be able to take over his ride, right? That should be how it works. Yeah, you're right, Fury. I don't really do jump attacks enough. Um, I should really add that to my. Uh, I should just really add that to uh, my, my attack plan, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Tiger pulling up to the next boss in a carriage with horses. <laughs> Sub Tiger, the Nefeli quest is one of the biggest mysteries in this game. No one managed to complete it yet. No one's managed to complete the Nefeli quest, really? Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. All right. Um, I want to fight a boss. I think it's time we fight a boss. I've I've done a lot of exploration. It's been fun, but I really want to progress through the story a little bit at this point. So I'm gonna go back to the round table. I'm gonna talk to the guy in the books, and he can tell. Whoa.
I was gonna say, what happened here? Where did everybody go? What happened? Oh, we're back to normal now. That was interesting. For a second, I was like, did I go to the wrong place? <laughs> did I go to the wrong wrong area? But not. Oh, that was a super hard fight. Yeah, no, that guy was super tough. Almost, uh, almost didn't make it, you know? <laughs> uh, what was that thing we just got? It's, it must be a weapon. Oh, yeah, here we go. Clinging bone. Oh, it's a fist. Cool. Very cool. Uh, you get invaded after you get the medallion. Oh, is that every time? And who are these people that are invading us? Are the other are they other um tarnished? Is that what it, what it's supposed to be, or is it just like random people? Well, I took you my man to it. Say out your arms. Okay, so I can't upgrade these yet, but I can upgrade hmm, my future weapon, which is gonna be this right here no not that one sword and night of, of night of flame okay it's good enough for now okay let's go talk to bookman you got his bone <laughs> No, I, I know it's an NPC. I know it's an NPC, but like, is it supposed to be like other tarnished in the world, or are they just like random people attacking you? Like, I don't really understand that part of the story yet. <laughs> oh wait, what? You're right, it was the guy that was posing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the guy that was guarding the, it was the guy that was guarding the, 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 the door here. Cause he, he died. But we just killed him, eh? Why did he attack us though? Why did he attack us? I didn't know he was a bad guy. His armor is dope though. Yeah, his armor is sick. Royal remains. Look at that. <laughs> We're like a zombie samurai warrior guy now. Look at that. Look at that. His edginess was enough to guess he would be a traitor. Maybe. Maybe. That's a good point. Yeah, dude, I love this armor though. And it seems to be better than at least my samurai one. It's not. It was. It's not as good as uh. Oh. Uh, actually, it's debatable. Which one's better? Yeah. So, the the undead armor has better physical negation, but not as good magic compared to the samurai armor. Interesting. Well, I'll still keep it though. It looks. It looks awesome. That looks freaking sick. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Uh, you. What is it? Uh, Renella. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Lingrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyernia. Renala is queen of the Carian royals who govern the Academy, and her great rune dwells within the egg she so dearly clutches. Okay, so Leorna North, which would be this area. So do I need to use the Grand Lift of Dectus to access the Renella fight? Or can I go, or is she somewhere else? I've been to the, the, the Caria Manor. I think we got everything there is here. 
So maybe it's over here. I'll check that out. This new armor that has HP regen. Wait, my armor has HP regen? Is that what you're saying? Let me see. Uh, wait, how do you check the information? Read the description. Yeah, how do, how do I read the description? How do I read the description? Description. I don't see a description. Oh, she's in the lake. Okay, gotcha. Uh, press square. Oh, switch display. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Helm graced with gold human bones. Gold human bones. Worn by the unspeaking adherence of Sir Gideon, the all-knowing. Slowly replenishes HP when HP is reduced. It is said that the bones belong to an ancient lord. Oh, oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, okay, so, damn. All these uh, pieces have HP regen. That seems very useful. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's go find her in the lake, I guess. Um, Academy, Gate Town, so maybe... Maybe somewhere over here. I'll put a marker there. <clears throat> yeah, it's been a minute since we fought one of the main bosses. One of the, the, the demigods, I guess, right? So, I think it's time. I think it's time we made some progress here. Although we are making progress just by exploring, but you know what I mean, like the, the story. I wanna, I wanna finish the story eventually. So every once in a while, we'll just like go for one of the story bosses. Look at all these Jirens. You see, I don't see any HP regen. I thought that was supposed to be a thing with this armor. So I'm kind of confused. Like, where is the HP regeneration? This is what you're going to be doing after the GOP. <laughs> I guess so, man. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, so we have to be at like low HP in order for us to regen HP. I guess that makes sense. Nah, Ferret, we didn't get the Golden Scarab. I never actually went to look for it. Is this the academy? Looks like an academy to me. Fancy one. Looks like looks like freaking Hogwarts. But yeah, I'm guessing this is the academy. Okay, we're coming for you, Renella. Then I can actually respect my character and start using the Sword of Night and Flames. And start shooting Kamehamehas at people. <laughs> I can't wait. <coughs> Did you know you can triangle hotkeys when you hold it? You know what? I actually never used that. I actually never used it. Let me let me see. Um, yeah, what I should do here. Um, how do I? Okay, how how do I add something to my like hotkey, or like a uh, hotkey and item? Like for example, if I wanted to like add this, how do I do that? I don't see an option here to... Yeah... You put the horse in the lantern. Horse will be good too. Yeah, horse I constantly have to scroll through. So, how, how do we do that? Let me see. Equipment maybe? Start menu. Inventory. 
Oh, true. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. True. Okay, wow. I played this game for over 30 hours, and I'm just learning about this now. <laughs> just learning about this now. That's hilarious. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to do up for horse. And then... Yeah, left for HP, right for FP, and down for Lantern. There we go. Wow. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I literally just figured this out right now. Ah, uh, that is kind of sad. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Oh, hey! It's those guys in the loading screens. Just remove that. Let's put in. Put this in. I think I drank it by accident, though. And I'm gonna do a few summons here. Uh, summon spirit of Stormhawk Dean. Stormhawk Dean. Summons three Raya Lucaria soldier spirits. Glintstone sorcerer spirit. Wolves. Okay, let's do the Hawk Summon and the Sorcerer Summon. If they grab you, it's GG. Well, it's a good thing they didn't grab me then. Yeah, you know, that's a good point. I'm gonna get confused. <laughs> I'm gonna get confused with the healing, so I'm gonna do the potions for the bottom. And then for our quick things, uh, I guess I'll do the summons. Okay, you know what? Let's make this a horse. Let's make this horse. That's That's fine, okay. Okay, oh, what is this? Oh, that was easy. <laughs> okay.
Uh, yeah, this is the academy. I'm just trying to figure out, like, how do we get into the academy? Like, where is the entrance? The Jivo hook. Thank you for the follow. Um, Sony, dude, I'm level 90 right now. I'm level 90. Yeah, we we we, <laughs> we leveled up a lot <laughs> in the last couple of streams. Actually, it wasn't even, it wasn't even the streams. It was um, it was me grinding off camera. <laughs> Yo, Fury, I haven't played Sekiro, but I think I would really love it. I think you're right. I think that would really be something that like would be right up my alley. But before that, of course, we gotta play. Uh, we gotta finish uh, Elden Ring first. This is one of those games I am committed to finishing. I have had moments in the past where, you know, I start a game and never finish it, but this is different. Like this, this is definitely one that I intend to finish from, from start to finish. <laughs> I guess we'll run around for a bit and see if we can find some kind of entrance or something. Yeah, no, people told me Redon is very hard, so I'm sure I'll struggle with that. But we're not worrying about that right now. We're going to kill Renella first because I believe killing Renella allows us to respec so I can actually rebuild my character. And uh, build them around the sword of fire and shield, or sword of fire and shield, the sword of fire and night, or whatever it's called. <sighs> I need a key for the entrance. Oh, okay. I think I have enough golden seeds to um to increase my flasks again. I think I have two now. Dragon west of the academy. West of the academy. So like this area? Okay, I'll check that out. I'll check that out. I think I've been gaming too much these days. My my back's starting to get like tight. <laughs> I think it's because I've been like hunched over playing Elden Ring too much. Oh, these flowers need to leave me alone. direction okay <laughs> I went the wrong way we're going uh, north now I need a channel point redemption this is posture check I should I should I should actually make use of those channel points because I haven't done anything with them yet you gotta have flowers on you when you save some hot maidens though bro <laughs> Okay. All right. I'll look for some flowers. I have I have flowers actually. I have a bunch of flowers. I picked up a bunch of flowers. Ooh. 
Oh, I can't check my map right now because this guy's following me. Okay, let's kill him. effort and we barely get anything from him it's not worth it it's not worth it okay um i want to go this way so the zucky zuck there is a farm point that you have to like put some work into to get to but once you get there um, you can farm up runes really fast. I would recommend looking up a video from Eric's Gaming on YouTube. They uh, have a really good guide for how you can farm runes really fast. I just followed that, and uh, it was it was relatively quick. It still took a couple hours, but it was like a relatively quick farm. Okay, these giant lobsters I remember gave me a lot of troubles. I don't know if I want to touch these guys right now. Okay, maybe we just avoid them for for the time being. Uh, oh, we actually have to go this way. Okay, so lobsters, just do your thing. I'm not gonna fight you. I'm not gonna attack you. Oh, yep, yeah, there's the dragon. There is the dragon. Should I kill him or should I just sneak past? Oh yeah, we can kill this guy. We can kill this guy for sure. I got this. <laughs> I got this, guys. <laughs> yeah, I know. I always go for horseback combat when it comes to dragons. It allows you to get out of the, the way very quickly, right? And also avoid the flames and stuff. Oh! Well, you know, in theory. In theory, avoid the flames. Does hit really hard, I've noticed. Collect the key. We got the key, we got the key. Now I'm going to go find a nearby grace point because if he kills me, it'll be a pain in the butt to get back. So there we go, we found the grace point. I'm gonna grab the grace point first and then we'll go fight the dragon again. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's rest. And then we'll get back to him.
I'm not gonna leave without killing the dragon. That's not just, that's just how I do things. Okay, let's go. Do I have auto lock on off? I think so. Alright, where are you at, dragon? Oh, there you are. Alright, round two, round two. You had the first you won the first one. Cody Nickel, thank you so much for the ten dollar dono. I will definitely use that to get my <laughs> real life maiden <laughs> some flowers. Cody, yeah, I'm trying to branch out a little bit more, you know, try to not make Dokkan the only thing. It still will be, probably be the focus for a long time, but I just want to, like, you know, add some variety. Add some variety to the channel. And some people enjoy it, some people don't, but it's what I'm into, right? So I think at the end of the day, that's the most important thing. Let me let me grab this. Oh shoot! <sighs> I'm so used to square being drag. Uh, not dragon. I'm so used to square being um horse that I keep using potions by accident now. It's gonna take some time to get used to, for sure. <sighs> All right, we only have two pots left, so. We'll see how that goes. Oh, I have a summon. I have a summon. Listen. No! my other potion. Oh, we messed up bad. We messed up bad. I messed up bad. That's what I mean. You guys didn't do anything. I messed up. 
We can still survive. We can still get through this, but I wasted two potions for no reason. Let's go. Blood loss, blood loss. Yeah. Just chop the leg. Just chop the leg. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, so far with every dragon, it's worked. Just run behind him, chop his legs. And, uh, we're good. I still haven't been to the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. I don't even know what that, where that is. Like, I know it's a thing. I just I have no idea where it is. We'll find it eventually, I guess. <sighs> Alright, let's, uh... Let's run to one of these grace points. Hey, what's up, Jeet? Um, it's not the only thing I do. I do have other things outside, but it is, uh, I guess, a, a decent part of it. You know, it's like a decent chunk of like what I do day to day. <laughs> There's a dragon that doesn't let hit his legs for a long time. Oh, really? See, that would be tough for me because I'm my, my main strategy for killing dragons is to hit their legs. <laughs> Okay, uh, add charge to flask, yes. See, I could have I could have had one extra potion this whole time, but I just forgot to actually use it. Hey, thank you, Mr. D, for the $10 dono. Always giving me the encouragement whenever I kill a boss. Very nice of you, man. You don't have to do that, of course, but I, I do appreciate it. All right, temple quarter. Yeah, guys, so apparently this is what Jiren's up to these days. This is what Jiren's up to these days. He kind of let himself go. As you can see, he's not quite as jacked as he was in the uh, Tournament of Power arc. Definitely did not keep up with his training. I guess he took that L very hard. <laughs> he got sh yeah, he also got shorter too. He got a lot shorter. <laughs> That's what happens when you stop training, right? You just uh you either use it or lose it, you know? If you if you stop stop your training, stop uh you know, the grind, then then event then you'll lose the, those gains very quickly. That's just how it goes. <sighs> okay, let me try to find an entrance to this academy. Uh, I'm thinking it's this path up here. So let's go over here. Oh. <sighs> I definitely want to kill Renella before we end today's stream. That is the plan. <laughs> Yeah, no, he learned Shadow Clone Jutsu, but let himself go. You got to the Dragon Communion after when you thought went through a dungeon on your first playthrough and ended up on an island. Oh, I've been to the the Dragon Communion already? <laughs> really? 
Wow, okay, so I had no idea. I had no idea. Well, I'll find it again. Uh, I'll find it again. Would you be interested in playing dinosaur survival games? Like, uh. Let's see. Like, um. Jurassic Park <laughs> kind of style? I wouldn't mind it. That sounds pretty cool. I've never played a game like that. I think there was one on PS1 that um, people told me about, but I never never played it before. Have you been keeping up with the gym? Uh, somewhat, somewhat. Like, I've been a little bit inconsistent these days, but I still go a couple times a week. I'm trying to get back to my original schedule, which is like every day, basically. Even if I have to like go light on a certain day, um, I still used to go every single day, so... I'm gonna get back on that soon. I'm gonna get back on that soon. I promise. I've been slacking though, for sure. But it's also partly because like the guys I go to the gym with sometimes, or like, like most times, like they haven't been feeling well, so like they've been kind of off. So like, I guess I use that as, a, as an excuse to not go myself as well. But it's kind of dumb because you know I should still keep up. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's just do a lap around the academy. There must be a way to get in. Arc Survival Evolved and the Isle come to mind. Ah. Uh, I never played Arc actually. Hmm. Going alone just isn't as fun. No, it's, it's not as fun. It's not as fun. Like, I, I used to do it a lot, but, you know, recently, in the, like the last year, I've had, like, training buddies. And, uh,. Yeah, it's tough to like go without your regular training crew. Usually I go with at least like two other guys. And it's just more fun that way. Is this it? Is this it? No? No, I've been here before. No Elden Ring collab? Maybe in the future. Maybe in the future. Right now, I want to just get through this game solo you know what I mean I want to experience everything by myself and then once we uh, we finish the game if people want to like play together then I'm 100% down even with like viewers and stuff like I'm, I might do like a you know Elden Ring with viewers kind of thing Discord server soon. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about how soon, but eventually. It's in the plans. Are these snails? Oh yeah, it's like magical snails. Is this the way? Does not feel like the way. How do we get into the damn academy? <laughs> I'm starting to get frustrated. <laughs> I've been running around for so long. Ah, oh, man. Um... through the waters from earlier so like here or no actually that wasn't where I was hmm maybe here yeah I think this is where the dragon was all right <laughs> Shadow, you can't beat God, Godric. <laughs> what level are you, man? 
I think I was level 35 when I beat him. It was tough though, it took me a lot of tries. It took me at least like 15 tries. His second phase is, is tough. His second phase is very tough. It um... Like I could always get to the second phase, but then that second phase will always kill me. So, just keep at it man, I know you got this. I know you got this bro. Oh, there's a... Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, I found it. <laughs> I found it, thanks guys. <laughs> I always try to find it myself first, but if I can't find it, then sometimes I'll just ask, because uh, I can only run around in circles for so long before I get annoyed. Alright, let's go. Damn it! I keep using my flasks by accident. Maybe I should change back my hotkeys. Like, put the horse back on, because I keep doing this. New Kenobi trailer looking spicy. Wait, I have stone. I have stone sword keys, man. I just picked one up. I swear I do. Uh oh. Is there somewhere I can just buy one? Or do I have to just find it somewhere? I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go to... The husks. Maybe they sell them. Hello? There we go. Okay. Back we go. So, yeah, you're telling me it's not the entrance, but nonetheless, I still want to go there because I found it. I have to go in now. I can't just ignore it. What if I forget about it later on, right? That's the that's the concern. All right. Uh, I believe it was like a little bit back here. it now. <laughs> I have no idea where it is now. <laughs> Wasn't I like in this area? Wait, hold on. Okay, um, no, I went the wrong way. Okay, let's go here again. Went the completely wrong, complete wrong way. Okay, so I teleported here before, and then we ran towards the academy. So it should be along the walls here. Yeah, okay, never mind. This should be it, this should be it. Have you gotten the Knight and Flame Sword? Isaac, I did, I did. Gino, by best followers, primes, and viewers. I appreciate it, thank you for the offer, but I don't uh, like buying followers. I'd rather just earn them naturally. Organically, if you will. Try to mark points of interest on your map. I should have done that. I should have done that. I just forgot to for that for that um for that map. I should start doing that actually. I should I should make use of like the, the markers. This game leaves me conflicted because I want to continue my adventure on it, but I also have a lot of fun watching other people play it. It's, got, it's a choice you gotta make. It's a choice you gotta make. I mean, you could do both, right? You could play and watch at the same time, I guess. But I do understand, like, if you're watching someone go through all the stuff, then, like, 
maybe it's not as exciting to play it yourself after. I don't know. It's a tough call. Yeah, Dion, we got the key. We got the key. Academy Crystal Cave. Ooh. Yeah, perfect timing for the <laughs> for the lantern, hundred percent. Perfect timing for the lantern. There we go. That was a great call, guys. This is so much better than having to hold a torch the whole time. Okay. Oh, rat. Stupid rat. Hate you. So lonely. Enemy ahead. Well, I assume that. I assume there would be enemies ahead. Be wary of right. Oh, this guy? Well, he wasn't so bad. <laughs> oh, got a staff, nice. What is my least favorite enemy to face? Um, so far, probably the big hand guys, because they're super creepy. I hate when they just like jump out of the ground and grab you. It scares me. So <laughs> probably the hands. <laughs> I'd say the hands are the most annoying up to this point. But I haven't faced all the enemies, so I'm sure I'll find even worse ones. Thank you for the sub, uh, Lil Jess Y. Thank you. And also, uh, Z Site. Welcome, man. Okay. I just saw some guy creep in here. Oh, wait. Oh, we didn't come here yet. Okay, let me just make sure I found everything in this section. Nothing here. What swords are these? Hayden, I'm running the um, Moon Veil and Meteoric Katanas. Oh, I got a stone sword key, nice. It's like a refund. <laughs> it's like a refund for, for the keys we just spent. 50% refund. So essentially it's like a 50% discount. Waits until he finds the geckos. How is this game? The game is great. It's it's really fun. It's really fun. It's like a mix of all the Souls games plus Skyrim. And I love Skyrim. I never played the Souls games, but I love Skyrim, so... Yeah, for me, it's... I would say almost a perfect game, to be honest. I would say it's almost a perfect game, just because it's like 100% the style of game that I enjoy. Uh, my, favorite, my favorite game of all time is... The Witcher 3 so it's not quite that um, it's not as story focused at least like not as much as The Witcher um, and I, I wouldn't say I like it more than The Witcher for sure but it's really really good nonetheless I hate the Crucible Knight Crucible Knight I don't think I've run into him yet okay see now I'm gonna lost. I forgot where, where the other entrance was. Uh, this was the beginning where it says be wary of right. Yeah, be wary of right. So if we just run straight through we should find that door again. Or not door. The entrance again. I believe. This way? Is it this way? 
Oh, no, this is where the cage is. <sighs> am I playing on PS5? Yes, I am playing on PS5, not PC. I could play on PC, but I just have everything set up for PS5 streaming right now. That, uh, it makes more sense for me to stream on PC. Or, sorry, PS5. Can't see us, right? Being very, very quiet. Maybe we'll take this guy out first. Oh, he saw us. Nope, he didn't. Did he see us? He might have seen us, guys. <laughs> I can't tell. Oh, he saw us. Okay. good all good that guy was a little bit tough though I'll admit he was he was slightly tough there seems to be a boss here yep so before we head into the boss chamber there must be a grace point here it's gotta be all right how do we get up there I'm out of there. I don't know how to get up here though. Um, let me see. Must be a way to get up. And there has to be a point of grace, right? They can't just make me go into the boss fight without being able to save. That's not how it works. Have I ever played Borderlands? Yeah, I played uh, Borderlands 1 and 2. I never played 3 though. I heard 3 is quite good, so I probably should check it out at some point. Rune Arc. Yeah, um. Strange. Is there really no grace point here? Can I not get up? I really can't get up there. I can't ride my horse either, so that's not an option. No, Simon, we're playing on PS5 right now. Steven, what's up? We're by the academy. We're uh, over here. Inside the academy crystal cave. And I'm just confused because I see there's like a boss room, but there's no grace point, which is weird, right? That's rare. Yeah, usually there is a save point. So... I guess they just don't let you save. Which is a little bit concerning. Yeah, okay, well, let's go. You know what, all we gotta do is just kill the boss first try, right? Like, that that solves all problems. <laughs> just, just kill the boss first try. Which we can do. These guys have to like break their armor or something like that, right? Uh, jump attack, jump attack. You know, what? I want to take out this guy because he's projectiles. Oh 
Okay, I don't think we're beating them first try, guys. <laughs> I don't think we're beating them first try. How do I do damage to them again? I have to use blunt weapons? Is that it? Cause yeah, I do like no damage to them. Uh, if you have a katana with the unsheath ability that worked for me, I, I have the Uchi katana. Or summons. Yeah, we can do summons. Hmm. Uh, the fact that you nailed my weird Finnish name baffles me. Respect, Tiger. Samu? I mean, it seems like a pretty easy name to pronounce, to be honest. I'm not going to try your last name, though. Is it Kavkari? Kavkari? I don't know. I'm not going to try that one. <laughs> Actually, I did, but I'm probably wrong. Uh, that was a bad fight, yeah, because I barely touched them. Um, okay, let me try equipping a blunt weapon. Let's see, uh, I could do like, oh, uh, maybe a hammer. No, not gonna work, it's gonna make me heavy. Maybe a... Hey, Jay Green. Yeah, man, I, uh... I, I play a bunch of other, other games outside of Dokkan. It's just I don't stream them often, but recently I've been streaming a lot more Elden Ring because people seem to enjoy it, and I'm, like, really enjoying it too, so... Why not, right? Uh, use summons to get them to aggro the summon and use the Uchi Katana unsheath. Okay. So I'm going to equip Uchi Katana, uh, which is over here. Yep. We equip that. And then I guess what I can do is get two FP flasks. Actually, no, you can only do summons once though, right? I can summon only once anyways. Um, hmm, let me see. What shall we use as far as summons go maybe soldiers royal lucaria soldier spirits okay let's run let's run oh so the moon veil ability works too i thought maybe because it was like kind of like magical that it wouldn't work i thought it had to be like some kind of like I don't know, non-magical ability or something like that. <laughs> I don't know, man. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let me let me see um, how we can do this. Yeah, screw all these guys. I don't care about you guys. I'm going to just run through. Or try to, at least. I'm streaming on YouTube and Twitch, actually. Streaming and Twitch. Um, on YouTube and Twitch. There it goes. 19k <laughs> runes. How are we feeling? Not the best. There should be a save point before the boss room. Like, why is that not a thing? Why is that not a thing? I don't understand. Yeah, no, it's not a lot. It's not a lot. I'm just saying, you know, it just I could have not spent all that or lost all that. I'm streaming and twitching. Yeah, no, I'm streaming on YouTube and Twitch for uh, anybody curious. Oh my god. This, is, this isn't even the right room, is it? Oh, it's not. It's the room with the cage. Uh, I guess I gotta kill these guys again.
bro. I lost 13k yesterday, I was devastated. Yeah, I mean, at this level, it's not really much, um, but it's still annoying, nonetheless. It's still, it's still annoying. Left side, right? Yeah, that's what I thought, that's what I thought. I keep, I keep running the wrong way. I keep going towards the room with the, uh, the guy in the cage, but I need to go to where that door is. And once you get through there, it's not that bad. Just gotta kill a few guys and then we're good. You lost 300k? That, that must have hurt. <laughs> that must have hurt bad. I'm sorry, man. Oh, that that's rough. There you go. No! Yeah, wrong room again. Are you sure it's the left side and not the right side? Because I feel like I was going the left way and I still can't end it up in that room again. I think it's right side. I think it's right side. Tiger went through a whole ass training arc. I did, man. I went through a time skip. <laughs> we, we did a time skip. The most I've lost, I think, was like 40k, actually, but... You can get it back quick, it's not a huge deal, really. It really doesn't hurt that much. Just a minor annoyance, really. Nope, that's where we died again. So... I think it's here. Yes, it's here, okay. Okay, we made it. <laughs> okay, we made it. Oh, this guy first. How many hours I got? Like 34, 33, 34? Nothing crazy. <laughs> Nothing crazy. <coughs> okay, so let's do a summon. Unsheath is not working. <laughs> Unsheath is not working. I became a Beyblade. <laughs> so I just became a Beyblade. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Once you break their 
stance, I guess. Like once you um, stun them one time, then they become super easy. They 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 take like a ton of damage right after that. Yo, shout out to everybody that told me to use the uh, moon veil ability. It does definitely make a difference. Look how sick my guy looks, man. I'm like a zombie samurai. Zombie samurai. That's dope. Crazy watching Tiger glow up in this game. The progress is real. We did go through... We did go through a, a training arc. We did go through a time skip. Um, so that explains it, you know. We went through... We, we underwent some hard training, guys. We underwent some hard training. Uh, this armor is called... Let's see, uh, Royal Remains. So you get it after you find like, a f uh, uh, what do you call it? Some kind of disc or something? <laughs> Medallion? <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, so after I found this medallion, the Helic Tree Secret Medallion, I went back to the round table. The guy that usually guards the door to the guy in the books attacked me and I killed him. And after you kill him, you go back to the spot where he was originally and you just find this armor. Uh, Stefan Hahamuhas <laughs> with a follow on, on YouTube. Thank you, man. Yo, Tiger, you know Tiger in Arabic is Hamar? Hamar? Is that how you pronounce it? I didn't know that, man. I don't speak any Arabic. The Moonbell Katana is one of the best samurai class weapons in my opinion because of the heavy ability it has. Um, that's what I've heard. Yeah, people have told me that it is definitely one of the best. Terra Magicus. Terra Magicus. Raises the magic strength of those within the sigil. Oh, it's like a supporter ability. Cool. Scours area with violent rain of crystal shards. You need 41 int for this. That's a lot. That's wild. Yeah, with my current build, I can't really use magic much anyways. It's not really too helpful for me. Um, I guess this is where we have to go go back, right? There doesn't seem to be anywhere else for us to go unless like there's some kind of secret hidden area I can jump into. But I kind of doubt it. I think if I just jump, I just die. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's actually don a donkey. Oh, 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 hold on. I jumped down here. Oh no, I just came from there, didn't I? I thought I found like a secret passage, but nah, it's just uh, where we came from. Uh, yeah, yeet, we are level 90 now. <laughs> level 90. Like I said, went through a whole training arc. Uh, might be too early to ask, but where does this rank among your favorite video games of all time? It's tough, man. Uh, it's probably top 10. It's probably top 10. I don't know exactly where I would rank, though. Um, I can't say it's my favorite game of all time, because that's still going to be The Witcher 3, but... It, it's, it's top 10, probably. You know, like, somewhere below Skyrim, somewhere below The Witcher 3. Um, arguably... I don't know if I like it more than Ghost of Tsushima. There's different games, right? They're different games. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say right now. I'll let you guys know where I rank it once I'm done the the, the actual game, you know? When I, once I'm through, like, the entire story. <laughs> okay. So, I think we should go back to the entrance now. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else left in here. And let's go find Renella. Let's go kick some... I don't even know what she is. Is she a spider? <laughs> is she a spider or what, what is she? I don't know. We're going to kill her though. That's all that matters. Alright. Um, people told me there was a gate I can just walk into or just run through. So let's try to find that gate. Is she a baddie? <laughs> Is she? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought she was some kind of like humanoid spider thing. I don't know why. I think I think it's because someone said something about eggs, and I was like, spider eggs maybe. 
Is she at least part spider? <sighs> oh, let's kill this dude. That's why not. Okay, so she has nothing, nothing to do with spiders. She's got nothing to do with spiders. Okay. So that was just in my mind. here I, I was I was just here before hmm. I already got the Academy key so we just have to find a way into the Academy now At this point, the enemy's here. <laughs> Boss music when Tiger approaches. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Um. Yeah, I don't know. The gate is in Academy Gate Town. I guess that would make sense. <laughs> I guess that would make sense because it's called Academy Gate Town. <laughs> Alright, I'll check it out. But I've been there before. I never found like a portal or anything like that. So that's why I tried to just go straight up to the Academy. But, you know, Academy Gate Town is kind of in the name, I guess. Alright. Let's look around here then. Gotta kill some more Jirens. Here, maybe? Damn it. Why is it always Elden Ring? I almost feel bad for killing these guys because they seem kind of like, like they're almost cute <laughs> in a sense, you know? And I just keep killing all of them. They're kind of derpy. Or the, is the guy from Jiren's backstory? I think so. I think so. I think I'm the guy that killed all of Jiren's people <laughs> and then turned him into what he is. It's all my fault. That's a cute flame. 
flamethrower you got there. Can we operate it? Yo, see, this is stuff that, like, I'm kind of uh, upset about, you know, the developers or uh, at the developers for it. Like, you can't use stuff like this. We should be able to operate this. If we take it over, we should be able to operate it. I guess I'll, there's no more enemies to kill, but, you know, that's you know, the point is. It'd be cool. Uh, 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 okay, nothing here. I could just run through, but what's the fun in that? We gotta kill everyone on our way to the academy. That's the only way I know how to do things, man. Just mass murder. <laughs> Just mass murder. Alright. There should be a grace point around here, no? No grass. This guy seems kind of hard. Seems a little intimidating. Or is he? Is he? Is he nice? Maybe he's. Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, it's a woman. Well, I mean, lady-ish kind of looking thing. You, please, I can read them. Your fingers, please, your fingers. She's gonna eat my fingers. I swear she's gonna eat my fingers. Mikela's favor can be yours. Slaughter. 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 The all hearing slaughtered. But all you need to. It from the big pot. <laughs> Pretty the poor. Huh? You. Your. <gasps> okay, so same dialogue. Big pot. She's talking about the giant pot guy that was, uh. I forgot actually where I found him. I think it's somewhere in, in Kaelid. But yeah, there was like a giant pot guy, but I couldn't really get him to do anything. Hmm. Anyways. No crab ahead. Alright, we're getting close to the academy. There should be a grace point somewhere nearby. Oh, it's one of these things. Okay, you know what? I don't want to risk dying here, so I'm a, I'm a run through, like some of you guys have suggested. It, it might not be a bad idea. Oh, I got a shield. Nice. There we go. A simple map check in inventory. Okay. Not letting me go to my inventory though. Okay. Simple map. Wait, which one's the map? So we got all these maps, but these are for the various regions. Uh, maybe 
be it somewhere else. <clears throat> that just shows where the key that you got was already. Oh, oh, I see, I see. So we did things out of order. Yeah, we, we did things out of order. I still want to find the map though. Where is it? <laughs> I want to look at it. Under the tab with the paintings. Oh, here we go. Okay. Simple map found on a corpse seems to point to a meeting place. The madness came from surely desired one, the sole means of getting entry to the academy. A glintstone key. Oh, I see. Okay, so yeah, if we had found the map <laughs> when I came here, like if I came here first and found the map, then I would know to go to that little island where the dragon is to get the key okay yeah we did things out of order i seem to be doing things out of order a lot in this game but what can you do it is what it is level 95 and i just now beat radon it took me three tries damn level 95 huh Alright, well, I'm not worrying about him for a while. I'm a uh, go kill Renella first. Okay, so we can go this way, or we can go this way. Um, I'm not really sure. I guess we'll go this way first. Wait a second. Okay, nope. That's. <laughs> this is definitely not where we're supposed to be. He throws spirit bombs at you? <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be fun. Can we just run through here? Oh, we can just run through here. But I don't think we can get to the other side, can we? Oh, wait, we can. And there is, it looks like, a golden seed here. I don't know where this leads, but I kind of want to follow it. <laughs> it leads to death, apparently. <laughs> I guess we can't jump down there. Um, at least he got the golden seed, so that was worth the trip. Yeah, that was worth the trip. Okay, let's go this way.
Academy of Raya Lucaria. We finally made it. It took a while, but we finally made it. Wizard guys. Oh, they're weak. Nice. Then, but later, there's a boss named Mog. He can go around his fog wall. He won't aggro even when you attack. And with gold pickled foul feet, he drops 546,000 runes. Holy crap. It's a boss that drops half a million runes? Sounds insane. Just letting this guy smack me around with a book. Can't have that. Yeah, I need to get the Golden Scarab. I, I really need the Golden Scarab. I'll probably make that my next mission after I kill Renella. Ricardo Alves, what's up, my man? Welcome. Hey, Purity20, thank you for the follow. Okay, we're going this away. Uh, this is the way. I think. Yeah. These zombies have quite a bit of HP, actually. Or skeletons, I guess. And there's so many of them! The thing is, they don't seem to hit that hard. Oh, never mind. <laughs> they do a decent amount of damage if they catch you. Uh, I've been watching your channel for a while. Finally caught you live. Oh, that's dope. don't seem like they're worth trouble though in terms of um, runes per kill. What are they giving you? Like 97 runes? That's not that's nothing. That's, that's literally nothing. Oh, silver pickled foul foot. I can't get I can't get up there, can I? I can't. Okay, let's just shoot these guys then. Ouch. <laughs> or I guess we could run, but these guys are pissing me off, so I'm gonna kill them. We 
Look at all the arrows sticking out of me. <laughs> I got like 10 arrows sticking out of me. All right, let's leave. Oh, uh, oh, we're going this way. Is this the way? Yeah, it's the way. Glad to see you're enjoying the game, Tiger. Definitely has my game of the year vote so far. I mean, the year's still young, right? It's still early, so... Definitely could be some big contenders coming up, like God of War, for example. Um, or Breath of the Wild 2, or... Is Wolverine supposed to come out this year? If, if, if so, then that could be a contender as well, because I am super excited for Wolverine. Of us three <laughs> yeah I never played last of us two so I didn't really understand um, I don't really understand the criticism I guess but the game that I enjoyed the most last year was ghost of Tsushima that was probably my game of the year this guy. I just beat Magma Worm, let's go. Kyle, congrats, man. That's huge. That's that's huge. Yeah, how do I get this? <laughs> oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, congrats on your uh, Moonbill Katana, man. It's sick. It's freaking dope. All right, so I think we have to get on this lift, probably. Seems to be the only way we can go from here. Hmm. Don't you love it when that happens? Game looks tempting. Yup, yo. It's it's really fun. It's really fun. All right, well, um, it's cool. We'll just run through the zombies this time. We don't have to kill all of them. We don't actually have to kill any of them. I don't know, I just felt like doing it before. Okay, oh, no!
Um, I thought with your unique weapons, you can only level them up to level 10. Like, plus 10, rather. I'm pretty sure that's what I read, at least. Like, regular weapons, you can get up to plus 20, but unique ones, like Moonveil and stuff, it's only plus 10, right? Drained all my FP. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We should be able to get on with no problems. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right. So where are we going now? Where are we going now? There we go. Okay, we made it. You die more from falling than actual bosses. <laughs> I've definitely died more to bosses, but I've died a lot to falling. A lot to falling. I'd probably say it's like a 2 to 1 ratio, like 2 deaths to bosses versus 1 to falling, which is still a lot of death, falling deaths, for sure. I need the Mimic Sport Ash. Um, what is that? Oh, Spirit Ash? Hey, Franco. Uh, we're level 90 right now. But I want to respec soon. I want to build my guy around uh, the sword of fighter at night. Maybe, maybe. I keep saying that. I might not. I might change my mind later. Oh, it's a big pot. So, yeah, um, oh, the Mimic is the, right, it's a Shadow Clone Jutsu, basically. Yeah, I know, people told me about that one. People, a bunch of people told me to get it. I don't really know where to go to get it, but, yeah, it sounds really cool. Oh, snap! Oh, give me one sec. I just gotta respond to uh, a message real quick. go again? Went that way already. Gotta kill all these guys all over again. 
the thing is they're weak, so it's not a huge deal. So the mimic summons like an exact copy of yourself, right? Yo, it'll, it'll probably play better than I do. The NPC, the NPC will probably play a lot better than I do. Still at part five Elder Ring video. I mean, those are long, man. I don't expect, I don't expect anybody to watch them all the way through, to be honest. Um, it's more so just for people that want to like, I guess, quickly skim through to see what they missed. But if you if you want to watch the whole thing, I mean, that's that's cool too. Holy your call. Is this a mini boss? Is this a mini boss? It can't be Renella, right? Because it's too soon to run into Renella at this point. Oh yeah, it's a mini boss. Okay. Also throws swords or creates magical swords. I got it. Memory stone. I haven't really used a single one yet, but I've heard they're useful for spells, so <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Maybe once I respec, I'll uh, put a little bit more emphasis into spell casting or sorceries or whatever you want to call them. You watch them when you eat lunch mostly. It's a good time. It's a good time to watch them. Hmm. Have we been here before? Not sure. Let me just go back real quick because I feel like I missed a section of this inside area here. Uh, we should also actually activate this grace point. <laughs> I just realized I didn't do that.
did get everything around here. Oh, maybe that door I didn't open? Oh my god. Guy's just spamming me. I can't do anything. You think I missed a fake wall somewhere, huh? Tiger, do you want to rush to the Renella fight? No, no, I don't want to rush. I want to try to find everything I can in this area, actually. That's the opposite of what I want to do. I do not want to rush at all. I want to take my time with it. from this side, huh? Okay. Fake wall, you say. Okay, it looks like I just have to slash all the walls again. <laughs> Hoping to find it. You look at that. Oh, it's just a smithing stone. I mean, it's useful. Don't get me wrong. I I'm not complaining about it. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we missed that. Otherwise, I think uh, we're probably good to move on from here. like keep going from oh we probably can't I was gonna say keep going on this wheel but I guess not okay it's nothing on this side
Crystal darts. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, you guys, are gonna, you guys are gonna have me, like, slashing all the walls in, like, every room now. Because I didn't even know fake walls were a thing before today's stream. And now I just assume everything's a fake wall. <sighs> hey, Brammer. Um, we're about to fight another boss, I think. Maybe getting close to it, at least. Like a, like a main boss, like, um... A story boss. Uh, I'm trying to fight Renella. If you know who that is. I have no idea what she looks like. No idea what she does. And that's the way I like it. We're going to figure it out as we die many, many times. Who knows? Maybe I'll kill her first try. That's also a possibility. Unlikely. But a possibility. Am I going to try any of the Souls games or Sekiro? I... I really want to play Sekiro. Sekiro looks like something that would really be, uh... You know, for me. Oh wow, that was so much damage. What do you mean wrong turn? There's items here. I don't think it's ever a wrong turn if you end up finding loot, right? I'm just trying to scour the area to make sure I don't miss anything. I try to get all the loot that I possibly can. Yeah, but why would I want to rush to the boss? What is this? Oh, it's a crystal crab. <laughs> Carolos Glenstone Crown. Oh, that's cool. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> that's a funny crown. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, thank you. Woo! Those guys are no joke, man. Hold on, let me see, let me see how this uh, helmet compares to my other one. Oh, it's better. It's, it's better in almost every way. All right, I guess we're running this now. <laughs> I guess, I guess we're running this helmet now. It looks kind of weird, but I kind of like it. Uh, Michael Delgado, thank you so much for the sub, man. And we got another seed as well so that's gonna be uh nine pots i believe after i find another grace point that's huge what is this oh it's giant crab I want to run to the. I want to rush to the boss to finally have a maiden. <laughs> um, Stefan, thank you so much for the five uh, euro dono, I believe. Um, when you say launches, do you mean lunch? 
Or is, is launch something else? <laughs> or do you mean launch like in Dragon Ball? I have class soon, but just wanted to drop by to remind everyone to like the damn stream I'll be watching later today. All right, screwy Drewy. Sounds good, man. We did we did decent today, actually. I mean, I do have a lot more deaths, but keep in mind, like, half those deaths are from falling. <laughs> if I have those deaths, are just like, hmm, I wonder if I can make this jump. Or just, like, accidentally falling so somewhere. So, like, we're, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Although, Renella might actually destroy us. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to do against Renella, so... That, that number might be going up very soon. Gotta grab that thing up there, and then we should be good to move on as well. Or maybe I can't get up there. Oh, we can. We can. Oh, these magic douchebags. Hate these guys. What is up with all these one-sided doors? Who designs a door that only opens from one side? I guess it could be locked. <laughs> I guess that could be a thing. It could be a locked door. I have to go inside. Stone wet blade. Craft rainbow stones and toss them to a high fall to see if you will die. If the stone shatters, you will die, but if it turns into a color, you're safe to jump. Huh. Okay, that that's a good tip. Um, I don't think I need that, because I don't mind dying to my uh, falling to my death. <laughs> but I'll keep that in mind, man. We need launch to be cannon in DBS. We do need launch to be cannon. She's literally, like, my number two waifu, probably, in Dragon Ball. Obviously behind 18. But she's, she's, she's close. She's close. Okay, I think we are good. I can jump down here, maybe. Which version is second? The blonde one, of course. <laughs> blonde version is 100% second. Um, blue hair launch is probably like fourth, maybe. I would probably put Bulma before blue hair launch, to be honest. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go up the stairs now. Oh, we can't go up the stairs, eh? Um, how do we get up to... I feel like... I feel like it's just a matter of jumping on... These little pillar things. And then we just run up, right? Maybe? Okay, let's try it. Yeah, okay. That works. Big ball. You thought that's gonna that's gonna that's gonna work on me? Come on man. Oh, there's more than one big ball. That's fine. I gotta get these 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 loots. Oh my god! <laughs> that was close. <laughs> that was a close one. That was 
it's a close one. Oh no! <laughs> I was trying to jump on the ledge. Uh, I was trying to jump on the ledge to grab the <laughs> the drop that the you know it's okay so we're not that far we're not that far well thank you okay okay we got this we got this so up oh, okay yep And then, uh, here, yep. Huh, all that for some crystal darts, eh? Okay, and then we're gonna grab our runes. Big ball, ow, oh, ow. You know, I thought that was gonna one-shot us, actually. Yeah, no, I, I thought the, uh, the ball would actually, like, just kill us instantly. But no, only it does about a third, a third of our HP. I can deal with that. Mm, Alright. We must be getting close. So we're in Renella now, I have a feeling. Oh, there's a portal. Do we go in the portal, guys? Is this is this do I want to travel to another location? Where is this? Where does this portal lead? Where does this portal lead? Why is there a portal here? <laughs> I kind of want to go inside. <laughs> uh, yeah, I beat the wolf. I beat the wolf. <sighs> Takes you to the Church of Vows. I'm assuming I can just teleport back anyway, so it's not a huge deal either way. Church of Vows. A tone. <laughs> Ooh, we got a gold sewing needle, gold tailoring tools. You are tarnished, aren't you? Is this I a turtle priest? To the Church of Vows. It's a turtle priest. I am <laughs> steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Praise the Father Turtle. <laughs> by the matrimonial bond between red haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses. The Earth Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of oh. Rhea Lucaria. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction, in which case I will share all that I know. Oh. Aryan Greatsword. I have this stuff, don't I? Hold on, let me see. Oh, carrying a piercer, that's different. 
Do I want this great sword? Seems pretty cool. Okay, I'll grab it. Grab this too. Why not? I'll also grab this. Why not? <coughs> oh, do we give this guy the scrolls? Is he the guy we give scrolls to? Or should I give it to somebody else? What have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us... Heresy is not all things. Is there some... Oh, I see. So he just gives us more spells. Okay. Star shower. Sounds cool. Why not? Who is Radagon? You wish to know more of Lord Radagon. Lord Radagon was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and king consort. Oh, that's cold. Of second Elden Lord. That's cold. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord? So basically, Radagon used to be with Renala, and then he literally he, he left her to become the Elden Lord. She must have been pissed, man. She must have been pissed. You wish to know more of Lady Renala? Oh, that was the wolf. She is queen, head of the Carian royal family. The wolf is Radagon, and governor of the Academy of Rea Lucaria. The great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the crypt. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let's uh, go back to the Academy. I'm not sure if that was the last point. No, that's not it. Uh, Church of the Cuckoo. Where were we? Main Academy Gate. No. Is it Church of the Cuckoo? I will have to leave to cook, Tiger. I will see your video later. Bye bye, guys. Stefan, thanks for watching, man. I'll see you next one, uh, next time, hopefully. I believe this is where we left. No, no, that's not it. Uh, schoolhouse classroom? No, that's not it either. Where, where was the last, uh, debate partner? Oh, I think this is it, yeah. This is where we killed the, the wolf, Radagon. Yo, Furnace, how did you only have 40 tickets? What happened to the remaining 10? How did you not get those? Did I come in here before? I must have. I must have come in here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we've been here. We've been here. Okay, let's go back.
Oh, no, no. I was just going to say that was close, and then I don't know why I just did a second jump. It just just happened. Don't don't ask me why. It just happened. The good thing is we didn't really have many uh we didn't we didn't, we didn't have many runes and I can get them back anyways, but it's not a huge deal. One way or the other. I got the golden seed. Yeah, I got the golden seed. Don't worry about that. Actually, I should I should get an extra flask. I'm pretty sure I can get an extra flask now. Now we just gotta avoid the big balls. Yep. Uh, Scythe, welcome back, man. <coughs> this game is amazing. It really is. It really is. Uh, so that was where the portal was. Can we? This is locked, I think. Yep. And there's a knight dude here, which we can take out, I'm sure, pretty quickly. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he's special. Whoa! Whoa! No, he buried me. That has never happened to me before. This guy's tough. This guy's tough. Stuff as me. Oh, you die. Let's go. <sighs> Tiger, any advice to get better? Um, I don't know. I'm not really that good still, <laughs> so it's not kind of tough for me to give you advice. Uh, maybe just, uh, it's really just playing more, just getting used to the controls, getting used to the mechanics, getting used to, like, different enemies' attack patterns, and once you figure those out, you'll be much more efficient at, like, dodging the attacks, right? And also, of course, you know, the higher level you are, the easier the enemies will be as well, so, uh, maybe just grind a little bit if you're having trouble, um, beating certain bosses, certain enemies. Are we on Renella? I think this is the Renella boss fight. I thought there was going to be another grace point. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> this helmet is so ridiculous. That can't be Renella. Okay. Little Calver. I'll soon birth thee anew, a sweeting, fresh and pure. to take care of the small, the, the minions first. Because they'll be annoying if they gang up on us. Don't kill the waifus. I have to, man. The waifus are trying to kill me. Waifus are trying to kill me. They're also creepy. I don't know if I would call them waifus. Wait, do they just not stop 
responding? Are they, do they just infinitely respawn? Yeah, see, that was way too easy. I would have assumed there was a second phase anyways. Even if you guys haven't told me. Oh, my beloved. Like, there's no way a main boss will be that no easy to kill. Fear. I will hold thee. Patience. Ye will be countless born. Forever and ever. So here's probably where things get real, and I have two potions left, so... Rani the Witch. Rani the Witch. I thought we were working for her. Foul trespasser. Send word far and wide. Of the last queen of Caria, Granala. What was she saying Rome. about Rani? <coughs> and the majesty of the night she conjureth. She's Rani's mom? Oh. Oh, interesting. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I should summon, I should summon, I should summon, I should summon. Uh, let's summon a... Oh, I need more FP. Let's summon... A bird, maybe? too uh confident there <laughs> i was like it's fine i'll just do my thing but nah still gotta be a little bit careful yeah she, she no it wasn't a one shot but she does do quite a bit of damage i'm gonna go back to my skeleton mask because i think it just looks better i know it's not as good as the other helmet but it just it just fits with the set obviously so yeah Oh, you know, hold on. Let me um, let me get my my new, uh, additional flask because I have two gold seeds now. I think we still we still uh only need two golden seeds unless we need more now. Oh, we need three now. Damn. Okay. I have two right now, so we need one more to uh, add a flask. All right. I mean, seven should still be enough. It should still be enough. And her, her first face is so easy. 
that I don't think I need a potion for the first phase, so I can save seven flasks for the second phase, basically. Or maybe six. I may need one for the first phase. But the first phase is just mad easy. Like, it's, it's wild. Okay, so Renella killed us once. I'm gonna say we beat her on the second attempt. You're losing progress in this game? Oh, no, no! <laughs> that doesn't count. She didn't kill us. She didn't kill us. That was me not paying attention to the fact that the the lift wasn't there. I had to pull the the, the lever, the lever, lever, lever. Um, but yeah, I just forgot that that it wasn't gonna be there, so it's okay. <laughs> elevator boss, yo, that elevator boss is tough, man. That elevator boss is tough. <laughs> oh, it's all good, it's okay. So this time, we are going to pull this first. There we go. Mm. Okay, good point. Ivan, so step on it again. No, oh, crap. I didn't jump off in time. <laughs> oh, oh my god. I was trying to do what you were saying, Ivan. I was, I was trying to step on the button to save myself time next time if I die again. And uh, I just jumped off too late, I guess. Okay. Last one, last one. This is this is the last one. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, fall damage is a is a something. It's definitely not fun. But it's also kind of funny when it happens, so I don't mind it too much to be honest. No, 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 Ivan, you gave me good, good advice. I just didn't, um, execute it properly. I love this armor, though. It's just so sick. It's so sick. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> Vanilla, let's get it. Music is both like beautiful and haunting at the same time. It's like a haunting kind of beautiful, I guess. Had her. Could have killed her. I just ran out of stamina.
Almost, almost. How did my hawk almost die? Like I summoned it and it's like almost immediately dead. How does that work? girl we have to kill oh there she is all right phase two phase two She turned into a moon. I was like, what? <laughs> It's hard to get close to her. She doesn't stop attacking. <laughs> Damn it. <coughs> yeah, it's hard to get close to her. Mm. Alright, I'll be right back. We're gonna keep trying. I'm not gonna leave before I kill her, but... I've been sitting here for like three hours. No, four hours now. Yeah, I've been sitting here for four hours now, and I really need to pee, so I'll be right back. Oh, close to five? Wait, has it been close to five hours? I think it's been close to five hours. Anyways, yeah, I'll be right back. Two minutes, bathroom break, and uh, we'll be right back.
All right, this is the one. This is the one. Third time's the charm. Right? Is the third time? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They should kill this twice. So, third time's the charm. Uh, this time, I'm not going to summon my... I'm not going to summon a hawk. We're going to summon the wolves. Or maybe the soldiers would be better. Uh, okay, wolves it is. I don't know. The wolves die really fast, too, so I don't really know which one is ideal. But, okay, we'll go for wolves because they've served me well in the past. I should actually find the jellyfish. People keep telling me the jellyfish is actually the the best one for fighting bosses. Yo, also, how do I upgrade my spirits? Like, who do I go to to do that? True Alpha one two three three two one. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Damn it. That was just unnecessary damage you took there, man. That was just not necessary. I need to get the Mimic tier. I don't think I need to get the Mimic tier, but it probably would help a lot. You're right about that. Okay, so I have to go and talk to the girl and the smithy dude in the round table girl and the smithy dude in the round table okay who gives me the jellyfish <laughs> like I said I never got the jellyfish all right here we go vanilla <sighs> attempt number three Kill her on the first. I guess you can't kill her the first time. Because she should be dead. She should be dead. Not like dead, dead, but like we should have moved on at least. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Her hat's weird. Oh, my beloved. It's a weird hat. I'm gonna let this play out because uh, this is probably the last time we see it since I'm gonna kill her this turn or this attempt. So we'll just uh, watch it one more time for, for you know, memory's sake. Because <laughs> we're definitely gonna win this time. We're definitely gonna win this time. No doubt about it. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. Foul trespasser. 
send word far and wide. Wait, is Renella Ronnie's mom, or is Ronnie Renella's mom? Of the last queen of Caria, Renella of the full moon. And the majesty of the night she conjureth. Let's go, wolves! Oh, there, there goes one. No, 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 no! And then she turns into a wolf? Or a wolf starts into a moon? Okay. One more wolf left. Oh, she has her own wolves. Oh, they die quick though. Dragon. Someone's a freaking dragon. You know what? I'll worry about her. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we should kill the dragon. At least they disappear. At least they disappear. Uh, they, they disappear over time. It seems like, at least. Yo, I'm gonna get one shot. I'm gonna get one shot. Oh no. Oh no! Yeah, we want to teleport to the debate parlor, but first things first, I'm gonna go back to the table and uh, talk to this girl. A pleasure to see you. Thank goodness you're safe. I'm still looking for my own. It's not easy, but oh wait, so I thought know, she was I'm supposed to looking. upgrade my things. Okay, hold on. Um. One second, one second. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to find the jellyfish girl. Is it here? <laughs> Talk to the smithing guy. Does he upgrade your? Same. 
him, girl. But she's not doing anything, you know? to talk to the blacksmith first. Well, I took you no matter lay out your ass. Look how you boy is. She's crestfallen and can scarcely swing a blade, but she has a gift. The spirit chimney. I saw another one like her. Their eyes share the same hue. No, don't read too much into it. Well, no grudge against you. My being a prisoner is no fault of yours. Besides, I don't mind smithing. Besides, it helps me forget. Hmm. Okay. I'm still looking for my own. It's not easy, but you're telling me I possess some kind of gift. I don't believe you. But if I do have this talent, and goodness knows it would be my first, I suppose I should try to hone it, shouldn't I? I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Certainly he does appear intimidating and holds no... I know he's trapped here at the Rackin Town. He's a gentle soul underneath it all. Do we go back to the blacksmith now? Wait, wrong side. What's that unsheath move I, ha move I have? It's um. Back already. The moon veil. Moonveil Katana arms. ability. It's kind of like uh, Unsheath, except with like, I don't know, some kind of purple magic power to it as well. The girl. What about her? Are you out of your mind? Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? Absurd. Besides, she'd never agree to it. I refuse to believe it. I don't doubt you, but I know when something's too good to be true. I keep going to the wrong room. <sighs> How do I get to get the moon veil? You have to kill the magma worm who is located in this cave between Kaelid and Limgrave. Um, actually, I'll just show you. Let's see. Here, Gale Tunnel. Gale Tunnel is where you want to go. That's where the uh, magma worm is. Uh, after you kill the magma worm, he'll drop the moon veil. I do have a talent for spirit tuning. And goodness knows, I suppose I should try to hone it. I'll ask Master Hugh. If I do, I suppose I should. I'll ask Master. I have to leave this area first. Okay. You were looking at a stream that got caught in school. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Gotta be careful, man. Gotta be careful. Alright, uh, she's gone now, but I'm hoping she's beside the smithy now. No, where did she go? Well, I took you for no matter it. Lay out your arm. I spoke with the girl. She has a gift for spirit, so I told her everything I know. 
I'm indebted to a spirit you know I met long ago. It was all I could do to honor her. I'm sorry I doubted you. Hmm. Is that her? I didn't recognize her without the the hood. Good to see you again. I have you to thank, don't I? For persuading Master Hugh, I can happily announce that he has taught me the noble toil of spirit tuning. I'm as yet unsure of what I might be able to accomplish, but if I might be able to help you all, I'd certainly like to try. And if there's any chance to ease the suffering of my dear men who were grafted, well, I certainly must try. Roderica, the spirit tune apprentice. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Grave glove wart to strengthen the spirits you summon from ashes. To strengthen the name spirits, you'll need ghost glove warts. Hmm, okay. I don't have any grave glove warts. you a small favor can you take this little one along with you can't be summoned here but the spirits look rather fondly upon you it'll be glad of your company i think okay got the jellyfish but where do we get these grave glove warts i thought i would have at least like a few we do have two of these ghost glove warts which we could use for the talk i guess Hmm. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Greeting. Do you hear the spirit? See, I don't have the regular grave glove warts, but I do have the ghost glove warts. Weird. Okay, well, uh, I'll, I'll uh, unlock this guy first. Or rather, upgrade him first. Okay, he should be pretty good now. <laughs> I, think, I think he's pretty decent now. So, let's go back to... Let's go back to... The bay parlor. Yeah, Josh. We uh we made some changes. We made some changes. He's pretty sick now. Look at that. Look at that armor. Yeah, it, it's probably my favorite set so far. It's not like the best armor, but like it just looks so sick that like I can't take it off. Okay, so we're gonna use the hawk summon because he just is my most upgraded one and hopefully uh it will make a difference hopefully it'll make a difference yeah the white raid armor sounds sick so is it just like a white version of the uh base samurai armor yeah that's what i thought Now I'm gonna make the mistake of not pulling this again. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, this is it guys. Last one. We're gonna leave this stream on 24 deaths. Because we're gonna kill her this time. And that's gonna be the stream because I gotta go. <laughs> I've been streaming for too long today. I've played too much today. It's been what, like five hours, right? Something like that. It's been like five hours. Oh, 
four hours? Still a pretty long time. Still a pretty long time. Books are hard to dodge, man. <laughs> Those books are hard to dodge, okay? <coughs> Let's go, Dean! I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> that was so quick. That was so quick. Wow. Alright. Well hey, look, the, the hawk was doing a lot more damage. I saw that. It was it was actually doing pretty well, so got that going for us, I guess. <laughs> That's all I could say, man. Damn. That actually happened. It's okay. <sighs> we're learning, we're learning, we're getting better. We're we're improving with every death, you know? And and hey, look, I, I asked for this. I was like, hey, my character's getting a little bit too powerful, I wanna die more. And the game's like Alright, bet. Here are some more deaths for you. So no problem. I asked for it. I'm happy about it. Yep, let's go. Uh, anyways.
Are these girls biting me or headbutting me? I think they're biting me. Okay, so rush her as soon as part two starts or phase two starts. Got it. Whoops. Bird is doing so well though. <laughs> My bird is doing very well. Like he's he's actually doing some great damage to her. Good investment. That was a great investment. No, my bird. Salacious Crumb, I have seven. I have seven HP flasks and one MP, so eight in total. Oh snap, no, 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 no. <laughs> well, she's dead, right? Okay. Okay, for a second I was like, why is the dragon still sticking around? Maybe she's not dead. Okay. We got Remembrance of the Full Moon something. But she's still alive? Where did he flee, my sweetings? Come out. From whence ye hide. Ah, thou, is it thy wish to be born anew? To become a sweeting, reborn of my beloved egg?
that's my guy. Um, I don't care about changing his physical appearance because I'm going to probably cover his face most of the time anyways. We can do a rebirth. Hmm. Saitama says kill her. <laughs> I'm not going to kill her, man. <laughs> I'm not going to kill her. Um... It's a tough call, man. I kind of want to do a different build just to see what it's like. But what if I don't like it? That'd be tough, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I should I keep the double like katana thing going, or should I rebuild to add more faith so that I can use the uh, sword of fire and knight? Mm. Seth says stick with katana. Mm. Okay, let me let me let me let me look something up. Sword of fire and night build. <laughs> Mustafa, I'm not gonna kill her, man. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill her. <laughs> Um, let's see. I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about it. If uh, I decide to do the rebirth, I can just come back, right? So. I would birth thee as yeah, we got time. We got time. Fair I might do it at the fire. beginning of the next stream, but for today, we're gonna end it off on just a, a dub. Uh, we killed. Oh, we didn't kill. We beat Renella. Uh, big milestone in the game about 30 ish hours in uh, wait if I kill her then would I still be able to rebirth though because isn't she the one that rebirths us so if I, if I kill her then wouldn't I lose that option right anyways uh, yeah I'm gonna think about it guys I'm gonna think about it, but for now, that is gonna be the end of today's stream. Um, we've been going for about four and a half hours, so I do need a break, like you guys said. <laughs> and um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed another Elden Ring. I think this is part seven now, right? Part seven stream. Um, as always, if you liked today's video or stream, depending on when you're watching it, then make sure to like the damn stream, sub to the channel if you're new, Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, including future Elden Ring streams, which will probably happen fairly regularly, probably tomorrow or at least on the weekend. And, uh... Oh, of course, follow me on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch if you guys aren't doing that already. Um, and thank you guys for being here. Shout out to Seth, Scythe, Vivar, LJKK, Mustafa, Hayden, X, K13, Kieran, is that Kieran? 69? Um, Saitama, Gogeta, Shaggy, Ant, Decker, Maguku, True Alpha, Little Conan, Low Vision, and everybody else that's still currently here. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you. And, uh,. Oh, King Vegeta just got here, eh? I'm sorry, man. I'm leaving. <laughs> you literally got, got here as I was leaving. Take care, Zermillion, and everybody else. Um, yeah, have an awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger, Uppercut Video. Signing out. <laughs>